Welcome to Ducati Ghost Hands, my weekly show that I do once every four months. So I'm going to show you how I changed out my rear brake pads. I'll show you the parts that I used, how I removed the caliper, how I swapped out the old brake pads, and installed the new ones. And I'll include a couple of detail shots so when you reassemble, if you need a picture reference, you can at least look at this and not search for 45 minutes on the internet for how the brake clip goes back in like I may have had to have done. But maybe I didn't, but I did. So full disclaimer like the last video, I am in no way, shape, or form a certified mechanic. I'm an idiot who can kind of read, but feel free to use this video as a visual guide to something like your official Ducati handbook that you have for changing out something as important as brake pads. So I didn't need too much to complete this project. I just ended up using a couple of rags, flathead screwdriver, my ratchet with a six millimeter Allen socket, some brake grease. Uh, didn't even end up using the, blur the brake fluid, but I already shot it, so it's in here. Pair of brand new brake pads, most important. Pair of gloves, of course. Actually, I ended up using two pair of gloves, and I'll show you why in the video. And some brake cleaner. So to start, I had to remove two Allen bolts from the brake caliper the bottom left and the bottom right. And to use this, I just use this six millimeter socket. You can't see the socket here because it kind of can't focus. And even when it does, the light makes it so you can't see it. Once those two bolts are off, you can remove the caliper from the bike. Well, you can kind of remove it. It's still attached with a brake line and stuff, but you can take it off and now access the internal components so we can start to take everything out that we're gonna replace. First, I had to remove this retaining pin. To do that, I had to remove this clip on the back and this clip keeps the pin from falling off of the bike. So if for some reason the pin ever got loose, this pin will keep it attached to my brakes and I don't lose my rear brakes. So it's important, make sure you put it somewhere where you can easily find it because it is small and lightweight and it will easily blow away in the wind or get lost in a bag. To remove this slide pin, I used the end of my ratchet because I didn't have a hammer on me and I thought a hammer was too big anyways. And this will look really easy because uh, I already did it. I just assembled everything back together and deconstructed it for this video, but it's gonna take a little bit of elbow grease to get it out. Not too much, but for me it did take, took a couple of solid wax to get that pin out. You can see on the other side, there's the pin and that's how it slides out. I was able to take out my brake pads with complete ease. And I actually used a screwdriver to get this clip out but I can do it by hand here because again, I had already moved it. I had already removed it previously. And then I just placed the caliper back onto the bike because that way I know it won't go anywhere and it's not hanging by the brake line. Now, one important note here that I heard on a lot of other guides, do not press your brake while your pads are not on the bike because this can cause it to seize up and you might actually have to replace your caliper which is way harder than this 10 minute repair of just replacing the rear brake pads. It's a pricey repair, and I believe in the Ducati manual it's referred to as a spicy meatball. Next, I took out some brake cleaner, cleaned off the caliper, making sure not to get any of this stuff on anything else, like my wheels or my tires. I don't know that it's that big of a deal, but try and just keep the brake cleaner on the brake components. That's what it's for. Then I took a rag to wipe it all down. Now I take the new brake pads, and I put them on a clean rag upside down along with my slide pin because I'm going to use brake grease to grease up all these components. Now the brake caliper, brake lube, brake grease, whatever they're calling it, is great because it helps quiet down brake noise. These components, when they're not greased up, they can make a lot of noise and it's annoying. Try and use a decent amount, probably two peas worth on each one. I don't know that there's any real science to this. I just used enough to cover it up without getting too much grease on the backside of either brake pad. I made 100% certain that I was greasing up the back of the brake pads and not the brake pad meat themselves. You don't want any of this grease on the part of the brake pad that comes into contact with the rotor. If you don't know what I'm talking about, at this point of the video, you should definitely stop it and look up a video for somebody who really knows what they're talking about because this is extremely important and I am extremely dumb here, I, I put on way too much, so uh, later I, I cleaned some of this off with a rag. Then I applied a bit of grease to the slide pin. 
And now I'm gonna go ahead and throw away the gloves that I've been wearing because they're covered in brake lube and I don't want that lube to get on any of my other components like my brake rotors. Now before I can put the new brake pads in, because essentially I'm just gonna do everything that I did backwards at this point, but before I can put the new brake pads in, I have to push back these caliper pistons. They're out because my old brake pads didn't have as much meat as my new ones. So if I put the brake pads in now, sorry, if I put the brake pads in now, they're not gonna fit over the rotor. They're gonna be too tight. So all I'm doing is pushing back the, the pistons by hand. I am a weak, weak man and I'm able to do this, so you can almost definitely do this, unless you are handless. It'll be tricky. So to put my brakes back together, the easiest way that I found was to start off with the pad that is gonna be closest to the slide pin. So I put the pad in, then I took the slide pin, put it through there. Next, I took the clip, the clip, the center of the clip actually goes underneath the slide pin. So I lined up the, I lined up the clip and then pushed the slide pin through there slightly. And then last, I put the pad in that is closest to the inside of the bike. And then I pushed the slide pin through there. Now it takes a little bit of, uh, takes a little bit of movement of some of these parts, but I just had to make sure that my brake pads were pushed all the way to the sides of the caliper before they could go on over the rotor, but they go on pretty easily. And I just lined the caliper back up the way that it was before I removed it. And here I throw in a little detail shot of how the clip goes back in to the caliper because it sucks if you forget how this thing goes in. Now I'll take my socket, hammer the slide pin back. Once it's in all the way, I take that retaining clip, use a pair of pliers, and make sure that it's on there tight so that way there's no chance of the slide pin coming out just in case, God forbid, that thing ever wanted to come out. And now I reattach the caliper to the bike with the two six millimeter Allen bolts. I'll do this by hand using horrible camera angles. The final step I like to take is just to record my mileage and then test the brake pedal. Test it with my hand here because I'm on video and I thought it'd be easier, but I can also test it with my foot. And it works. Now I'll take it out for a ride around the neighborhood, make sure everything works properly and that I don't hear anything and I'm good to go. I'm also going to link to a video by Revzilla which provided me with a lot of helpful information and insight. That guy is not an idiot so you can definitely trust him a lot more than me. And that's it. Expect another video in like four months probably, or whenever I need an oil change next, that's probably gonna be the next one that I do.